A violent public attack on a famous writer. World-renowned author Salman Rushdie stabbed after a man rushed the stage as he was about to speak in western New York. Now you can see people rushing to Rushdie's side. His attacker is now in police custody. And News Nation's Sloan Glass is here in the studio. So Sloan, a huge shock today. Absolutely, Nicole. A shock. And New York police just held a press conference minutes ago. We now know Rushdie was stabbed once in the neck and once in the abdomen. In some worlds, Rushdie is praised. In 2007, he was knighted for services to literature. But as the author of Satanic Verses, work many Muslims considered to be an insult to Islam, Rushdie's writing led to decades of threats and a bounty on his head offering more than $3 million to anyone who killed him. Prominent author Salman Rushdie, whose decades worth of work has spurred death threats, was attacked on stage in western New York this morning. People were screaming and crying out and gasping. Rushdie was moments away from being interviewed at the Chautauqua Institution. An attacker rushed the stage and stabbed the 75-year-old novelist in the neck. A man jumped up on the stage from I don't know where and started beat, what looked like beating him on the chest, re repeated fist strokes into his chest and neck. Moments later, you see Rushdie lying still on the ground, receiving medical treatment before being airlifted to an area hospital. Uh, here's an individual who has uh, spent decades uh, speaking truth to power, someone who's been out there um, unafraid, despite the threats that have followed him his entire adult life, it seems. In 1988, Rushdie published The Satanic Verses, a novelization of the Prophet Muhammad's life. That angered many Muslims. The following year, the leader of Iran Grant, Ayatollah Khomeini, banned the book in his country and called for Rushdie's death. Rushdie went into hiding for nine years before reemerging and continuing to speak out against religious extremism. An Iranian religious foundation increased a bounty for Rushdie to $3.3 million. And we now know the suspect's name, Hadi Matar, 24 years old. He's been taken into custody, and law enforcement believes he acted alone. They will work with the DA to determine charges. Nicole. All right, Sloan, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.